a bat? Yeah. Not a bat. <laughs> Hello! We're in Turks and Caicos. It's been a journey. I didn't vlog the way here because I was like, no. As far as my journey, there was literally like one direct flight here and it flew out of New York. And I didn't think that was really worth the effort getting to New York. Maybe it would have been worth it, but it was literally one flight. But anyways, I flew from Philly to Atlanta because I had to fly, I didn't have to fly Delta, but I used Amex points for this trip and Amex partners with Delta for like points and stuff. So it's so my first time flying Delta, it was cool. So I flew Delta from Philly to Atlanta and then from Atlanta here to Turks, not bad. The flight was like two hours to Atlanta and then like two more hours to Turks. I barely made my flight in Philly, what's wrong with me? The flight was early, it was 6.30. I think that was the earliest flight I've ever been on, but like I wanted to maximize my days and not get here super late. This TV is so cute, they have my name up there. But anyways, my flight was at 6.30, I woke up at 4.30. That wasn't the wisest decision. I'm on two hours of sleep, you guys. Nobody's fault but my own because I decided to wait to the last minute to pack and I had just uh, so much to do because I just got back from Miami. I called the Uber, they got here at like five and they got me to the airport by like 5.20. But Delta doesn't have a big presence in the Northeast. That's why I never really fly it. When I got there, the line to check a bag was so long. I was like, oh my gosh. And then you believe my bag was overweight. It was five pounds overweight. That shocked me because base, base luggage has like a weight indicator and I thought it was good. It was five pounds overweight, but shout out to the lady at Delta because she let me slide. At first she was like, can you remove some stuff? No. <laughs> Just charge me, just charge me $100. I'm not about to bust open this luggage and remove nothing. Um, but she let me slide, so that's so nice. But I need to make it lighter on the way back. But yeah, the flight from Philly to Atlanta wasn't too bad. Atlanta airport is huge and busy and crazy. But shout out to the Delta app. I would have never figured out how to get to my gate if they didn't, they had like, they have like a little GPS built in their app to tell you where to go. But I barely ate breakfast. That's the other thing, it's two o'clock and I have barely eaten. I got like a little smoothie and a little snack because all of the restaurants were like, their lines were wrapped around the corner. And I was like, I don't have time because it was only like a 45 minute layover. So I got on the flight to Turks. I did sleep most of that flight, but now I'm here. You guys, my allergies, when I got on the second flight, my allergies like flared up. That's why I sound like this. The resort is beautiful. I'm staying at a place called the Shore Club, way prettier than it looks online. As you can see, I decided to install a wig. Not my wisest decision um, because it's hot. It's freaking hot here. This is the second time I've underestimated heat. Went to Miami, beat that heat, got me together. It's hot here too. So I don't know how this wig is gonna last. I don't think I'm leaving the resort today. I think I'm just gonna stay and just like walk around, see what's going on in the resort. Oh, did I get a stamp? I did. Wow, I haven't flown internationally since 2020. Let me show y'all the room. I don't even look in here yet. What's this? What's it? But this is my room. Watch in here. This little stand up shower. Cute, cute, cute. What is this? Is this a steam room? Oh no, it's a toilet. <laughs> okay. This is me. Um, I traveled in the Gymshark Paws collection. One of my favorites to travel in, it's so comfortable. A little bathtub, cute, cute. And this is the room. I already like messied it up. I just walked in. And I have my own little balcony. I didn't know I was gonna have a little balcony. Oh, that door heavy. Uh-uh, what's that? Uh-uh. It's a creature. I'll see that creature. I ain't got time. All right, but I'm about to pop on one of my outfits and go look at the, um... Actually, I'm gonna go get something. I'm gonna look at the resort and I'm going to find something to eat. Hungry. 
Okay, that's much better. Oh, this is eating. <laughs> this is eating! I apologize. Um, bathing suit underneath here. I got this from Airy last summer. So unfortunately, it's probably not available. And I'm so mad because I have a matching bucket hat. And I forgot to pack it. Tacky. And then this dress is from a company that went out of business called Toluca Eating. And I just have on my little Christian Louboutin flops. I have hats. I definitely need a hat. Um, I'm not going to... Should I? They have a little shop downstairs that has the big hats. I'll look at those later. I'm just going to throw on this little white one for now. I got this from Target like last year. No, no, I didn't. It was definitely this year. Oh, yes, it was, because I bought it when I went to uh, California. Okay, do I have a big head? Oh, I'm about to eat good. Come on, come on. This is giving um, Meredith from The Parent Trap. Eating! Eating! Where my phone at? Where my phone at? So I literally also, <laughs> not me forgetting that this is a, an island and I wouldn't have service, 21% that's rude I got to keep on I'm about to roast y'all I'm gonna be at least five shades darker when I leave here like that's something I love to do I just love to roast but anyways yeah I had to like call and turn on my data roaming that has to be why my phone is dying so quickly all right but this is the fit I'm about to go wander around the resort and find something to eat this resort is also like a maze he was giving me a tour when we got here, so I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Gorgeous. Ah. I definitely want to lay out, but I absolutely have to get something to eat first. I'm famished. <laughs> Y'all, this water is so warm and it's clear. I ain't never seen a clear beach in my life. Oh my gosh, the jet skis. I really want to do a jet ski, but I'm kind of scared. Look. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. It's the first day, so I don't need to do everything today, but like 
It looks like they have like jet skis and kites. I'm definitely not doing that kite. Money can't, money cannot handle that today. I see all the way, everyone always talks about the abandoned ship. I see it, it's all the way out there. People like climb on it and jump off. I don't know if I'm doing that, but I can see it, it's cute. But I think my goal, the things I wanted to do while I, while I was here is obviously see the water, the beach, relax. I definitely wanna do like a jet ski. I wanted to see the boat and I wanna see a couple of the local restaurants. This guy that works here just offered to take me out tonight to some of the clubs, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know him like that. He mentioned a lot of the clubs that I know of, but I don't know if I trust him like that, you know? See, look how cool this is. Like it looks really fun, but you're basically like air surfing and I'm just not built for that right now. I don't, I don't think my legs can handle that right now. It looks fun though. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do a jet ski. I wanna sit down in this water, but I don't wanna get my camera wet. So I'm gonna put y'all back. That's cool. I can't believe how clear it is. Such beautiful water. All right, I am back in the room. Um, I basically was just in the water for a hot minute, probably like 45 minutes, and then it got a little cold, so I laid out on the beach, and then it got real cold by the beach. So I still took a nap though, a mean nap. Then it got too cold, so I just laid out by the pool and took another nap. <laughs> but I'm back in the room. Um, I'm trying to find dinner. Why is this crooked? They have restaurants on site, but it's like fine dining. I'm not a fine dining type of girl, okay? I want a large meal. I'm hungry. I need a carbohydrate. Food earlier, it wasn't bad, but like I ordered a shrimp mango roll and I showed you guys what they bought me out. It was 95% vegetable and like 1% shrimp, no mango. So it was basically just like eating vegetables and then a side of fries. The fries were good. People kept saying that Turks is so expensive. It's definitely expensive. <laughs> um, one drink, they do add gratuity and everything automatically and like a 12% tax for Turks. One drink was $25. One cocktail was $25. Woof. Um, and then that meal, that entire meal that I showed you guys, it was just the roll, the fries, a side of fries, $12. I got rolls. And then they they asked me if I wanted still or sparkling. Bought me out still and charged me $8 for still water. I ain't never seen that in my life. But that whole meal was expensive. And that was just a finger foods. But yeah, they have a restaurant on site with like, but I want... I want to be full, so I don't know. I might try to leave. They have, they call them like sister sites. I can take a shuttle there if they have better restaurants, but I'm not sure. Um, or I can just leave. The thing is like the, so there's no like Uber and Lyft here. I don't know why exactly. So basically everything runs on taxis. And I think there's just not a lot of taxis. Like there's, they're hard to get in contact with. Um, is what I was told. So I'm just like nervous to leave the resort and then like be stranded or something. But there's a lot of cool restaurants. Maybe I'll feel safer going out during the day for lunch or something. Yeah, because they have complimentary breakfast and then I think I might go out for lunch and have dinner here. But okay, I'm ranting about how I'm, I'm trying to find food. And the, yeah, the taxi situation is weird. But yeah, just got back to my room. They did a turn down service. That was so sweet of them. They basically like closed the blinds and bring the slippers out and close the doors. So cute, they put a little chocolate over here. But I'm just like unpacking. I felt bad because I left my luggage just like splayed open and she took care of it for me though. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like necessarily unpacking this. I feel like I didn't shop wisely because it is hot AF. Um, like, 
know. Like, basically, you should be dressing, like, bare minimum here. Like, skin and bones. <laughs> and the stuff I bought just has way too much material. But all right, I'm going to go find something to eat. Crab! Sebastian, what are you doing here? Why are you looking at me like that? He's just like stuck there. I'm screaming. I'm walking back from dinner and he scurried across this. What are you doing here? He's just staring at me. Go back home. Go back home. Oh my God. Yeah, go ahead. Look at him moving. Look at him moving. Get, get back to the beach. I am moving slowly like I can't see. I see you. All right, I'm back at the crib. Um. <sighs> I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. I told you guys I only got two hours of sleep last night because I just had so much to do. Uh, my friend's baby shower was yesterday. I just got back. I had just got back from Miami, and I had to pack for this trip. I had to install this freaking wig that was a waste of my time because it looks crazy already. I got two hours of sleep. Two, but it's okay. I took a couple naps on the beach and stuff today, but I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. That dinner, delicious. I've never had a piece of fish so gush. I'm so glad that I got that because I usually keep it basic and stray on the cautious side. So I was gonna get, I was gonna get a little pizza, but I was like, no, we're on vacation. Let's try new things. So they called it the daily catch. So I guess they just caught it today. Delicious. It was grilled, oh, and they had uh, vegetables. They got me some rolls and I got a side of mashed potatoes. They got me with the water again. Oh, look at all these bottles of water. All these bottles of water. I believe these, I think they give these out complimentary. I might be surprised at checkout when they charge me, but, but twice today I had to pay $8 for a bottle of Fiji. And then they gonna ask me if I want some liquor. No, no, I'm not paying almost $30 for a drink. I can't believe I forgot to do that. I totally meant to pack. I'm not a big drinker. I literally only drink if I'm like on a trip or I'm out with friends celebrating something. It's a rare occasion, but of course I'm gonna drink on vacation. So I totally wish I just packed like a little bit of alcohol, a little juice, because these prices, oh my gosh. But yes, I'm about to shower. I'm gonna hit the hay. Tomorrow, they have complimentary breakfast, so I think I'm going to do that. I think it's a light breakfast. You know how they do. Just like a couple pastry, a little bit of fruit. I had no fruit today, and I think I might do a jet ski tomorrow. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Y'all saw that crab tried to kill me? Uh-uh. Gotta look at this later. I forgot they have a spa. All right, 
I'm about to go grab breakfast. This is what I got on. This is a cute little like two piece set from Pretty Little Thing. It's like a super, it's kind of see-through, so I'm trying not to flash y'all. <laughs> but it's like a very stretchy material. Um, I just have on some like Steve Madden little sandals too. I think I'm going to lose this though because it's probably hot as heck. So I think I'm just going to go like this. So this little bandeau is also from Target. Booty bounce to this. All right. But yeah, I woke up at like 9 a.m. and breakfast stops at 10.30. The complimentary breakfast stops at 10.30. I think I might go out on the town for some lunch today. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm ready to go get some lunch. I didn't forget my water bottle because they're not charging me $8 for a freaking water bottle today. I'm obsessed with these shorts. Usually shorts just don't work for me because my butt and my thighs just eat them up. But these are like perfect. I'm definitely gonna see if they have more colors. You know what? Okay, now I'm seeing the problem. I keep looking at my camera like, why does it look so blurry? It's because the camera fogs up when I walk outside. That's how hot it is. <laughs> uh-uh. That's where I saw that crab yesterday. Sebastian. What a breakfast at. Uh-uh, y'all can't even see me. Oh my gosh. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Where's breakfast? <laughs> I'm lost. back at the crib i'm gonna go try to ride the jet ski i'm a little nervous it's expensive but like i'm sure it'll be fun i bought all of my makeup thinking i was gonna be like beat every day it's too hot for all of that like i do want to take a couple of pictures so i'm gonna do something light like literally i think i'm just gonna throw on this tinted moisturizer from fentanyl what is this a skin tint from fenty does it even match still who knows? My lace looks horrendous. It's horrendous. I would have totally got braids, but like, as you can see, I'm just very last. Like I literally just booked this two weeks ago. I'm so last minute, but breakfast was good. It was decent. That's the one thing that was included. This isn't, this is not an all-inclusive resort. Now I kind of see why people do all-inclusive though, because it's expensive. Like, luckily I'm not a big drinker. Like I'll probably do like one drink a day but like pushing $30 for one drink. And the meals, I haven't had a meal for less than $60, $70 yet. And I've been getting basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's looking too light already. This is not in all the proofs. This place is called the Shore Club. It was, I think it's a five star resort, but it's like one of the cheaper ones. Cause some of the other resorts were like $2,000 a night. Um. <laughs> No, but literally the, the pictures and videos that I saw of this place did not do it justice. It's really pretty. But yeah, breakfast was included. It was good. It was like basic. They had like a buffet of like pancakes, eggs. They only had pork bacon and pork sausage. They did have an omelet bar. I didn't realize that until too late though. But tomorrow I'm going to get that omelet. Um, oh my, something is bothering my nose so much as soon as I got here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Oof, but so today I'm wearing one of my little bandanas. Let me actually get that. Did I finish saying what I was saying? I was talking about breakfast. Breakfast was good. And next subject, I'm wearing a bandana. So I think on the jet ski, I'm gonna do this, right? 
Well, this is what I bought it for, for like the water sports. Cause you know, I got a lot of butt. I don't want my stuff flying everywhere. These are like, this is from Skims. These are swim shorts. And then I got this top, but this feels really thick and hot. Has a cute little cutout, show a little boob. <laughs> yeah, I think I am gonna do that. Where's my bandana? So I ordered these and I didn't expect them to like look like this. But um, I'm alive, but I'm dead. I guess we just put it on like a bandana. cute as I thought it was gonna be but I don't know do I wear it the thing is I feel like I need something to keep this wig on because if this wig goes flying into the sea I'm packing my things and I'm leaving how embarrassing I swear this is not how it looked on the let me go look at that picture <laughs> it does look like this I just have a big head I guess okay is tickling my nose oh my gosh i don't mean to leave you guys hanging but i want to listen to some music for the first time i remember to pack my portable speaker this is the beats hill from like years ago it's good but like it's heavy maybe one day in the future youtube will not be so rude about using music in videos don't you forget it hey hey my attention span is what am i doing supposed to fit like there is supposed to be boob here but like they, I, they're gonna fall like it's not tight under here and this is just for decoration like this doesn't get, get any tighter I don't want my boob flying out also the shorts I don't know they're kind of gapping in the back but the thing is I don't want all my parts flying out on the jet ski you know let me see hold on okay I'm hot Mm -hmm. What the frick? That's all I got. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. It's not that it's like, it's just not the most comfy. Like, let me pop the seams. It's like a little tight on the arm. If a boob flies out, it flies out. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Come on, jet ski. Come on, jet ski shades. <laughs> oh, it's hot. We're on our way, you guys. I'm nervous, but I think it's going to be a blast. I'm like 50% sure this wig is still gonna fly off. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. They can fish it out for me if a... Uh... Jumping off of anything. 
but it's cute, I guess. <laughs> that was abusive. I'm back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a rough experience. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to be that. Like, I be I guess the waves were just like choppy today. So I was like, do, 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 like just keep flying up in the air and flopping back down. Like, I was exhausted after I parked that thing. Like, hold on, let me clean this. I'm like, scared. let me take these glasses off. Like, girl, as soon as I got out there, deep in the wave, like, look at my freaking face. <laughs> the water, I was slamming so hard down that the water was like splashing in my face, even with the shades, cause it's like salt water, it was getting in my eyes and I couldn't see, I had to keep stopping. Oh, I thought I was being whooped. Oh my goodness. I wish I could say it was like a relaxing experience and so, so great. No, I was fighting for my life. I was fighting for my life on that jet ski, oh my gosh. But I can say I did it. I can say that I did it, but I was scared. Um, basically, I don't know, one of their popular like touristy things was that abandoned ship and people like climb on top of it and jump off. I wasn't gonna do that, but I was just like driving toward that and it looks so much closer than what it is. Like I was out there, I was convinced that a shark was gonna come get me at any moment. It took me like, it took me a minute. I was really fighting. The wa This was so, so I'm scared to even take this off to see what this wig looks like under here. Oh my God. I literally thought I was not even gonna get my hair wet. But all of that like cute outfit and makeup stuff didn't even matter because they made me put a life jacket on and you couldn't even see it. So I could have worn anything. But I am happy I wore the short stuff because I didn't want like my bare butt like rubbing up against their stuff. But this outfit held up nice. The boobage, the boobs did not fall out. So that was good. And I was freaking flying, you hear me? And I was so tired when I got back. I laid on, on the beach for like an hour because I did not have the energy to walk back up here. But I think I'm gonna step out for lunch today at one of the restaurants that I saw on TikTok. I think it's called Omar's. I was gonna go to the Conch Shack. Apparently that's a very popular restaurant here, but apparently on Wednesdays is when it's really fun and they have shows and stuff. So I'm gonna save that for Wednesday and today I'm gonna try Omar's because I heard it was the best food on the island. On the island! So I'm going to, I did not do a good job shopping. Everything that I got is, it's like, it has sleeves. Like you have to be like bare bones out here. <sighs> Maybe I'll wear that little holster dress. I don't know, but yeah. I was like scared to leave the resort, but like I'm ready to get up out of here. The workers told me I should have went out last night, but like, I don't know how I feel about going like to bars and clubbing by myself. Like that doesn't, I'm all for like, doing things myself of course i y'all know i'm always by myself but like the club the bar yeah one of the guys is like really trying to convince me to go out and do stuff but he seems nice but so maybe i will i don't know if i'm gonna go with him but i might go do a little something we'll see because there's not really anything to do at the resort at night i'm just concerned about the taxi situation and if i'm gonna get stranded let me get this wig together i need to shower and get dressed and we're gonna go out to lunch it's a simple green dress i got this from pretty little thing this hat is also for a pretty little thing. And then my Steve Madden little sandals. And I'm bringing this little bag from Bottega. Let's go. Well, let me figure out where I'm going first. Is this the hottest month or does it get hotter? Oh gosh. <laughs> What's the hottest month? Uh, October. October? That's crazy. So you guys don't have like a like winter? It's never cold here. It gets colder, but not cold, no snow. No snow. You know, you never need a coat. When the rain chill come, then you probably feel like that.
y'all. I'm beat. Fucking wig is like done. They already did the turn down service. Turn down, they like come and shut the room down. They leave me a little chocolate. Yesterday they left one over there. I guess they thought two people were here. I was looking forward to eating them two chocolates again. What the, how do you know, what? Why didn't you give me two chocolates? Anyways, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. Yes, that's my hearing. No, so where did I just come from? Oh, Omar's. Um, it was good. It was definitely good. So the critique that people usually have about Turks and Caicos is that the transportation is not good. Like they don't have um, like Uber and Lyft and the taxi situation is just like not ideal. Like I went ask, like I went down and asked them to call a taxi and that took like at least 20 minutes for them to get here. But at Omar's to call a taxi that took like, I want to say like 45 minutes. I was sitting there waiting for a taxi and the cost, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, but when they emailed me, when I emailed them about transportation, they said it cost $45 to get from the airport to the resort. I was like, okay, cool. And then after that, like usually taxis cost like $21. Um, the way there, that man charged me $45. And I was like, <laughs> excuse me? Like I was expecting him to say 21 because that's what they told me. Because $20, I could swing that. $45 for one way? That doesn't seem right, but it was, it wasn't really far, but it was like a 20 minute drive. So maybe it was, it was because it was a little steep, fine. And then on the way back, that lady just charged me like 36. So heesh. I think that's why a lot of people rent cars. I'm, I don't know about that. Maybe next time, but yeah, I thought I was gonna like pop out tonight, maybe to one of the clubs, but I'm not paying. First of all, I'm about to run out of cash. Um, but that's all right. I was really kind of like forcing it. I'm really not, I feel like there are different people that like to vacation. Some people like to relax on vacation. Some people like to turn up. Some people like to adventure. I usually either like to adventure and relax. Turning up, drinking is not my thing. Like I literally had one beverage today and I have a headache, but I think that's from the jet ski. First of all, can y'all see the, the, the scant, the tan from that shirt? Oh, it's, it's getting better, I guess, but like Y'all, that jet ski took me out. Like my, I feel like I ran 10 miles. I'm so beat down. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna recover. I know it seems lame just to like relax, but that's what I like to do. I like to relax. So I might just go like lounge by the pool. I definitely had a video due today that I just completely did not edit. It's for CVS. <laughs> I told them I would send them a draft today. I did not even send it. Like I'm, o I'm out here frolicking and jet skiing and not doing my work. So, so I do need to edit that video. Don't want to get fired on my day off. I did not expect to get that wet during jet skiing. Now my wig is a mess, but it's okay. I do have to get it together before my photo shoot tomorrow. I'm doing a kayak photo shoot tomorrow at 11. So tomorrow's agenda. I don't even know. Now that I learned about that taxi situation, I I don't know, it's not really worth the stress. I feel like everything I need is like right here unless I wanna try other food. That food last night was delicious. And it is expensive at the resort, but the amount of money that you have to pay to take transportation to another restaurant, it's lit it would literally be the same price as just staying at the resort. So I'm probably gonna do that. But tomorrow, I'm gonna get up, get breakfast. I need to get ready, um, head over. They're, they're sending a car to pick me up. I don't know if I have to pay for that because that was not clear. It just said transportation provided. It didn't say it was provided for free. And that concerns me. Because if I pay, they actually, I just DM them. I just sent them a message asking that because I don't, I think I might cancel it if I have to pay freaking $45 there and back. But we'll see, I'm just ranting now. But today was a good day. I'm, um, I'm just gonna talk to my camera. Huh? I'm gonna talk to my camera. I don't, I don't want you to think I'm talking to you. All right. Okay. I'm on my way to the photo shoot. I woke up a little bit late. 
so I didn't film a get ready with me. Makeup in this climate is an absolutely not. I did my makeup and as soon as I stepped outside, it started to fall apart. My lace is hanging on by a thread, a thread. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Hopefully the shoot moves really quickly. Cause girl, I stuffed myself into this one piece that I got like a, no, I got this like three years ago. It's from Mint Swim, like Drea Michelle's line. The skimpiest, <laughs> the skimpiest little thing. It honestly barely fit back then and it barely fits now. But I think it's gonna be the most flattering for the photo shoot, so. <sighs> We're on our way. That was a lot I was like I don't know the company that I used so I booked my appointment for 11 they said they would be here at 10:45 to pick me up so I'm like ripping and running getting ready and I go to the lobby and they and they contact me and say oh the driver's late he won't be there until 11 10 and I'm sitting in the lobby already started sweating drenched so I'm like okay that's annoying but whatever and then I get there and like, I'm sitting there for another maybe 30 minutes before the photographer even gets there. So now my makeup was just like completely broken up, completely ruined. My, please, my wig is like not even attached anymore. That's done with. And it was just like, <laughs> and it was hot. So I was just like sitting there with a massive attitude. Like what the heck? Yeah, I had an attitude most of the time. <laughs> But it's okay. I'm back at the resort. <laughs> they did provide transportation, which was nice because if I had to pay for another taxi, I would have probably canceled it. Mm -mm, I'm not paying no more taxis. Actually, yes, I am. But anyways, I'm back at the room. I'm gonna take off this makeup, I think, and just go lay out by the beach. Maybe have a little beverage. Yeah, I can only handle, in this type of heat, I can only handle one excursion for the day. <laughs> that's it my goodness and I think it's just a me problem because I was looking around and nobody else was sweating there was another girl there too that went after me and she had a wig on as well she wasn't sweating at all like is it just me <laughs> do I just I feel like I don't get hot easily I don't know but yeah hopefully they were supposed to airdrop the pictures to me before I left but my phone was being stupid and it kept failing so He's gonna send them to me later. From what I saw, they do look really pretty. So we will see. I'm gonna change out of this. Why did I fall like that? <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. But all right, I'm going to go just lay out by the pool.
out there roasting for hours. I love it. But my phone died because I've been taking so many pictures and videos. Tomorrow, I think we're gonna have a packed day. I wanna go see the turtles. I think I'm gonna go ATV riding. <laughs> I'm scared. But I'm gonna go back to the room, charge my phone a little bit, edit that video that was due yesterday. And I'm gonna pop back out because I made reservations for dinner. Oh my God, last night I wanted to go get a little snacky snack and the reservations were all booked. I couldn't even step out. Like, what is that? Um, so my reservation is for like 8.30 because I had that little sandwich out there. If you hear that squeaking, it's my flip-flops. I guess these Louboutins are not really meant to get wet. <laughs> but, um, yes, I have reservations for dinner like late tonight. I will see you guys later. Not get the camera to not fog up but anyways i'm on my way to breakfast i just got the clear kayak pictures so i'm going to look through those y'all really can't see me yeah Now I'm about to go meet the guy for ATV riding. Y'all can't see me. But it's hot. I just I have these little red shorts and then this like old halter top. And I'm gonna put a hat on. And I'll throw on some sunscreen. Am I late? I feel like I'm late. Totally forgot to wear my Invisalign last night. What? Girl. I'm going to put everything in my little backpack from Tajay. Oh, I got money in here. Oh God, one of the hotel employees wrote me a note. We'll, we'll talk about this later. Like what? He put his name on here and said, he was like forcibly trying to give me his number. And I was like, no, thank you. So he wrote me a note. Dear, you are more beautiful, but I'm glad to meet you. Please can't wait for you to come back so we can chill when you reach. Call me. I miss you. If you don't get on, like what? What? Ciao. I feel like men are gonna be men no matter where you're at, but like when you're working for an establishment, like have some decorum. Okay, what? Where's my scrunchie at? Let me get a move on. <laughs> Green. I can leave my hat on? Yeah. I just need to get these chops. Once it fits? Yeah, there we go, perfect. Make sure it's not uncomfortable though. Just as it. It's fine. There we go. And then. It's not too tight though. Mm -hmm. You good? <laughs> well, I gotta find it for these. Because it's hot, trust me, man. You gotta find it in the seats. This is all. We're good to go. We're good to go. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs>
I don't know which way you're out of. It's up to you. I don't know. I know, but it's up to you. You could look to the left if you want, if you can manage. No, I can't manage. <laughs> Mango? I drink though, at least. I'll probably just Coca-Cola. get water. Come on, get the water. It's not water, man. It's not water, man. It's not water, man. It's not water, Take another juice if you want, don't know. A juice? Yeah, yeah so that pack whatever. Get the coconut water. Why would you say I'm going to keep going? Dio! Dio, okay? Enjoy the ride? Yeah. Don't waste the camera memory. We're going to the right place now. Whoa, what's this? A hole? Yeah, it was made by an asteroid maybe six an years ago. An asteroid? You fell from the sky. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but don't go to edge like that. What this way? Can you bump in them this toes? Way? I see you bumping them toes already. <laughs> <laughs> you better go back to the side. This way? Walk on the side here. Guys. <laughs> I'm clumsy. I'm gonna walk away from it. Widen my stance. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Right back. Come man. See one coming up. Me come? Yeah man. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clumsy. Whoa! What happened? Back, back, back. Oh. Look at them come to the What happened? Right back. A bat? Right. Yeah. Not a bat. What's in here? Okay. Oh! Watch your step now, please. Yes. Whoa. Yeah, this is Fred for a few to know all day. You don't have to come though. Yeah, I'm not coming. <laughs> It's cool. Yeah. Good. No photos. You don't want to come in and take a photo? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll stay up. Thank you. Hello, how was the tour? It was good? Yeah. And the guide was good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, me and Jackson, I say. Hey, y'all. Can y'all see me now? I forgot where I left y'all at, but I came back from ATV riding, laid out by the beach. I'm about to go to the Kong Shock. But yes, I got this little dress from Skims. It's supposed to be floor length, but it's too hot, so I scrunched it up because it's freaking hot. Um, I have on this little flower bucket hat. I got this from Cotton On. I only put this on because my wig is just not working. It's not working, okay? I got my little Christian Louboutin flip flops on. A little bag. Let's go, we're late. Oh, they came in to turn down service again, and they gave me two chocolates on each side again. I'm such a special girl. <laughs>
boy back at the crib um that was cute it was cute it kind of turns into a little club at night you know i don't that's not my scene everybody's standing around on the dance floor looking at each other the girls looking at the guys it's just not the vibe for me but it was okay food was cool vibe was cool that band was super cute and then they had a fire blower that was nice i'm glad i went i'm glad i went I did have to pay $80 for transportation, but I met the nicest taxi driver. Basically, similar to the um, ATV situation, like everyone knows everyone. So it's like you literally just get a contact of someone that drives a taxi and you just stay on them. She drove me from Omar's on Tuesday. Um, I asked the owner to call me a taxi. He was like, yep, I know somebody. He called her and I just got her number and I just texted her and said, hey, can you pick me up? And she was like, yep, yeah, I'm on my way. Like, it's so interesting. It's just so interesting. But it was a vibe. The hotel boy that I've been telling you guys about, he's been helping me so much. Like, he helped me just, like, find things to do. And, like, he actually called the ATV people for me and booked my appointment. He's been super helpful. And he's, like, a sweet little boy. And I told him I was going to contract tonight. And he was like, okay, I'm going to come too. And he actually came. Um, it didn't creep me out, though. He's, he's super adorable. I'm pretty sure he's maximum like 23 years old, like super young, but he, he was adorable. He had on his little outfit and he's like, I'm going to bring you back to Tux. Can I, can I bring you back to Tux? I was like, sir, do you know how much it costs to come here? You, you got money like that? And he was like, that's not what I asked you. Was yes or no. I was like, sure. Send the funds, send the funds and I'll be back. Y'all know men just be talking. That's a lot of money. Anyways, I had fun though. I was chilling, vibing, eating, drinking. Two, I had two rum punches that were really strong. So I'm feeling it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm actually like really sad to be leaving. Um, the only reason it's like an awkward like four days is because I could not get Buffy into her school for a longer stretch. They literally only had Sunday through Thursday. And that's what I had to book my vacation around. I'm a mother. I'm a mother first. So that's my fault though. I need to be less last minute. So my next vacation, I need to book ahead of time. So I wanna do at least a full week. I'm not, a, I'd like to come back to Turks. I'm not sure if I'll come back anytime soon. I, I, I wanna explore other islands because like, I, I like it here, but like, I'm curious if this can be done in another country for significantly cheaper, right? The beaches are beautiful. The food is great. It's tropical, it's hot. But like Jamaica, Puerto Rico, DR, I feel like they all are like that. And those are significantly cheaper, right? So I'm just curious. I heard Mexico was super cheap. Um, Cause like if I can get the same vibe for cheaper, you know what I'm saying? Um, this trip could have been cheaper. I don't, I insisted on staying. I think this is a five star resort. Just cause I was concerned about safety. But you don't have to do that. You can definitely stay in one of the cheaper hotels and save a ton of money, but. I need to pack. I need to do some work really quick and I need to pack. <laughs> I need to shed five pounds off of my luggage before they charge me $130. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but we'll see. I'ma see y'all in the morning. Good morning. I have to be quick because all of my batteries are dead and this one's dying. But um, it's my last morning and I'm really sad, but um, I went to have breakfast and my taxi doesn't get here till 12 because my flight's not until two. So I'm just gonna lay out, this is my tanning bikini, I like to call it. It's like clear to get rid of my tan lines, but that's it. I'll see you guys back in New Jersey. Good morning, we are back home. Oh, um, yesterday was quite the journey. That airport, I ain't never seen anything like it. Like there literally were not enough seats for people to sit down. So that was a bit much. People were convinced that you need to arrive like three to two hours before. Not really. I got there two hours before and I was still sitting and standing because there was no seats for like an hour and a half. But then I picked up Miss Floof. Big Floof. Big Floof. Big Floof. Oh, 
She's ignoring me. Excuse me. Big Cloof. Buffy. Why do you have an attitude? Why do you have an attitude? You know what's funny? I just came back from Turks and they had wild dogs out there that didn't have a home. They were out there fighting for scraps of food and look at you being rude. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm still talking. There were dogs out there that didn't have no parents. Anyways, I picked up Miss Floof this morning and I didn't have any food so I wanted to run to Trader Joe's. I was like devastated this morning when I woke up and realized I had to make my own breakfast. It's like, wait. That was like the best thing, just waking up and someone makes breakfast for you. Like, oh yes. You guys, I feel so good. Like I just had like months of just like built up, I guess like stress and, and I just feel so incredibly relaxed. Like my just, my heart and my insides just feel so calm and so relaxed. I just straight up just relaxed that entire time. But yeah, overall, absolutely love Turks. Um, absolutely love it. I would return for sure. I'm already like looking at places for my next vacation. I feel like I'm gonna be addicted to going on vacations now and just like chilling and relaxing. If you guys know of any places that you think I would love, please let me know down below. But if you made it this far in the vlog, thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming on my first vacation with me. It's so, even though I go by myself, like having my like camera and stuff with me i feel like i have like friends that i'm talking to so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next video bye